شب بی خونم و شور و نوا و کربلا می خوام Assalamu alaikum and hello to all the Hedo TV audience in uh, Canada. I hope you guys are doing very well. My name is Ashir Zaidi and I'm in Karbala. You can see the shrine of uh, Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam in background. Arbain is over. Most of the pilgrims have left and uh, Karbala now is a pretty relaxed place but still you can see all around a lot of pilgrims are still there and they are here to for their religious services and uh, I'm sure all of them are having a spiritual journey and having a great time. Uh, a lot of people are coming uh, to Karbala to experience uh, Uh, what Arbain is all about and especially a lot of the foreigners are here. I just came across one very interesting personality and I'd like to introduce you to them. His name is Mr. Maurice Goldsman. Sir, how are you doing today? Glassman, I'm very Glassman, well. Glassman, sorry, I yeah. forgot your name. Maurice Glassman. Yeah. Okay, the best part about Mr. Maurice is that he's a journalist from UK and he's also a member of the parliament. I believe you're a lord, sir. Is that so? That's right. <laughs> I'm a member of the House of Lords. Member of the House of Lords. So, I'm uh, talking to a parliamentarian right now oh, well. in Karbala. Yeah, you, indeed, you are outside. Um, Uh, Abbas. Abbas is fine. Abbas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, my first question would be, what is a member of the British Parliament doing in Karbala? Well, I heard about the Arbayin. I heard that all these millions of people came in order to express their love of Hussein. Uh -huh. And also that they fed each other along the way and they mm -hmm. gave each other, they shared the water and they shared uh -huh. hospitality. And I thought that I had to see this. It's an incredible thing. Uh, definitely. So, I mean, uh, just uh, because I'm sure a lot of uh, people would be interested in listening and knowing about your trip. So, when is your first brush with the story of Kabbalah come into being? How did you initially start to know about it? Well, I've been reading about the Shia religion for a long time. But what really intensified it for me was the fight against Daesh, against ISIS. I was really scared for the Shia and I was very interested to know on what basis they fought against mm -hmm. ISIS. So I got into the story of Imam Hussein, of his sacrifice, uh -huh. of how he stood up against corruption, how he stood up against tyranny and dictatorship. I found it a very inspiring story actually. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm sure you must have uh, led a lot of literature, some yeah. books. So would you like to share what uh, actually you read and where does the inspiration come for you? Oh, well, I, I read uh, books by academics. There's a very good book called The Shia Rivrak by Yitzhak Nazak. Yeah, I read that one. It's yeah. a very good one. And I also read books by the Ayatollahs, by mm -hmm. Hakim, um, just about the meaning of Karbala and the meaning of Imam Hussein. So. Yeah. I just did a lot of reading and I spoke to people in London, mm -hmm. uh, Shia people and and um, so it grew and so I came over with a cameraman uh -huh. like you to, to make a program about the Arbayin and what it means. It's wonderful. Uh, coming to Iraq, I mean we journalists we are prone to uh, dangerous places, we don't fear yeah. that but were there any apprehensions or skepticism before coming here? No, well, I, I was invited by the Imam Hussein Shrine, so oh, I completely trusted mm -hmm. them. And, and it's been very, very peaceful as far as I can see. So I, was, I wasn't worried about that. Okay. So uh, did you start your uh, uh, I mean, journey from the walk that we call Mashi? Uh, did you experience all that? Tell us something about that. Yeah, so went to Najaf and walked from Najaf uh, to, t towards Karbala. Um, and uh, we came last year to do that and this year we came straight to Karbala so we went on the road mm -hmm. and we met people and met pilgrims and it, it's an incredible thing that so many millions of people should just walk <laughs> yeah uh, definitely even for uh, myself when I came and I saw millions of people it was, I was like wow this is something that the world should know so what are the few silent things that you have uh, gained from this and something that you would like to go back and tell your people back in London well I would I would like to say that the that there is a notion of justice in the Shia of Iraq that they've got a notion of justice that that notion of justice is embodied in the life and meaning of Imam Hussein uh -huh. and and that this is expressed through the Arbayin and and just to tell the reality of the story of the Shia of Iraq and and what they believe in definitely and uh, Uh, one of the things that inspired me, and uh, I'm really uh, till now uh, uh, unable to find, understand, is that millions of people coming in. Where is all the food coming in? Where is all this uh, uh, catering to them coming in? How would you describe it? I mean, any logical reason that you could come up with? There's no. It's it's genuinely has all the 
forms mm -hmm. of a genuine pilgrimage. People, we've asked people, they save all year, they prepare all year, they stay up all night cooking. It's an incredible story of, of an ethical world that can be seen sometimes that's not just about money and not just about power, it's about serving each other. Uh -huh. And I find that, and I find that extremely and interesting. Uh, tell us a, a bit more about your experiences. I'm sure you're on your way to Nwashi. You must have met hundreds of people over there and yeah. they would have been surprised to see you as well. <laughs> yeah, I think they were, they were a bit surprised. But what I found was the people were very open uh -huh. to, to, that within the Shia, there wasn't a notion of of hating people who weren't Shia, they were very open to other faiths, other beliefs. It, it's been a really um, excellent experience. So uh, are you documenting all this? Are you going to show it to some place? Yeah, What's the yeah. idea? So the idea is that we make a program, we get back to England, we've got footage and uh, we'll let you know. Oh definitely, I'd love to see that and you will get to see your interview too. So a uh, bit more about this that uh, I'm sure this is something uh, people in West would have, might have heard about it, they've never experienced it. So, how would you describe it to them? What actually is the essence of uh, the message of Karbala or coming to Karbala? What is in it, your opinion? The message is that you trust other people, that you rely on their hospitality, uh -huh. that everybody believes in the goodness of Hussein and they show their best side to each other uh -huh. in this pilgrimage. Definitely. And uh, if I would like to talk to you about some of the political scenario that's going around over yeah. here, and I talked to a lot of Iraqis, and they were pretty upset that Iraq has become a battleground or a militia battleground for different forces uh, fighting together, and they're pretty upset about it. What did you hear about, uh, from them? Yeah, I heard the same things. Yeah. What's interesting about Imam Hussein is this anti-corruption thing. So it gives them the strength, now that there's a Shia government, to challenge that government if they're corrupt. Uh -huh. And there was a very strong idea that they want to be Iraq, they want to be a democracy and they want to be independent. <laughs> so it was a bit like Brexit. Yeah, definitely on that. And, uh, and yeah, please. Yeah. You were no, saying no, okay. No, no. So, I mean, uh, all of the nationalities that you have met over here, I saw people from various countries. What were the nationalities you came across? Oh, we came across people from Iran, um, certainly uh, Azerbaijan, uh, Lebanon. Uh, met uh, met people from all those places, but also we met people from England, from Sweden, uh, from Denmark, from all over, and from Pakistan. From Pakistan, yeah. And from Afghanistan, and the people from Pakistan and Afghanistan, some of them were late because of visa problems. So we always have that. We, we, always have. We've met them. So, I mean, a lot of viewers who are watching, they would definitely like to know about your work. So, where we can Google up and find your writings or your videos? Well, just just put my, put my name into Google and you'll find it, and we will let you know when this program comes out. Uh, definitely we'll wait for that. So uh, about your journey, just one or two more questions about yeah. that. About your journey and you've been with your cameraman, so uh, what were the other things apart from the religious and thing? would you have any health issues or something like that? The food here, yeah. tell us something about that. Uh, yesterday I got a bit of trouble with my stomach but I'm absolutely fine as you can see. And it's been very good, the food's been very nice, we've be received great hospitality from the, from the shrine. It's been a really marvellous journey and I would like to thank the Shia people f for inspiring me in seeing their sacrifice and their level of service that they give to each other. It's been a really beautiful thing. Okay, uh, Mr. Marisa, you know our Prime Minister Imran Khan, he has been born and bred in UK and even the uh, loyals were in Pakistan uh, recent years. Did you ever get to see Imran Khan in his playing games? No, no, Any no. inspirations about him? Oh, I saw him play. <laughs> he was a fantastic bowler is what I remember. Okay. Fantastic. Definitely he was. So just one final question. All the people who are watching these broadcasts, I'm sure a lot of uh, young Canadians are watching it and people who have not been over here. In a nutshell, what would you describe then? What is this uh, uh, all pilgrimage worth it and is there a solid reason they should come here? Well, you should see the fact that from Najaf to Kabbalah you can walk all the way and you'll never see any money. Everybody feeds each other and hosts each other. It's just not about that and that's the most inspiring thing of all. It was lovely talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.